dun, 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 dish, dish, dish. I am Chillmonger, like the intro just indicated. Let's talk about the Black Panther comic, which I thought was coming out sooner than it actually is. There's some expectations that I have from it. One of them is to be good, but then there's some things that I want. Maybe demands is the right word, or whatever I titled this video. I don't, I don't think about that yet, which is probably why I only have 893 subscribers right now. The reason uh, I wanted to do this video was just to tell you about things that I want. Mainly, number one, this won't all be in order, but this is the key thing that I need, is a brand new villain for T'Challa. We know he's got Ulysses Claw and uh, Eric Killmonger, right? Who else? There's that chick in the green. She's not prime time, but she is a villain. M'Baku... Uh... You know what I mean? There's not that many. So maybe elevate those two, but also introduce a brand new one. Make it a female. Make it someone from Wakanda itself. Give them a nice little origin. Let's see. Let's have a little understanding of who this person is. But let's use um, like an accidental fire that happens. The scientists all burn. Oh my god. T'Challa saves everyone except for one. One dies. And that happens to be the spouse of the scientist. Scientist was away. You see, the reason there was a fire is because the main scientist was away on an excursion. She comes back, yo, T'Challa saved everyone but my spouse? Okay. I'm really upset. I'm gonna do this in honor of my late husband and Daka, or whatever his name would be. It starts with a letter and then it's Wakanda. So she concentrates and she goes, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Mm. I'm gonna make it rain fire on Wakanda. Fire is what got him. I'm going to make everything he loves burns. Boom. She makes it rain fire. And then in comes Storm. Because obviously that's how you counter it. She comes teleporting through a Krokoan gate. It's a trap though. You feel me? Like we can get into it. And and make like a, a, a good villain out of nothing. Literally nothing. Next thing of utmost importance would be. We have to coddle. This book has to be comic skate friendly. There's a lot of people who are not going to buy this comic book no matter what. However, when they're at the comic book shop, the cover of the comic book is there. Do something with that. Show Gorilla, um, what's his name, M'Baku, in his man-ape suit. Make these people feel welcome. Even though they're not going to purchase the comic book, they need to understand that there is regressive steps happening in the Black Panther comic to make them feel okay I'm completely joking and I'm taking that joke too far. If you're new here in this channel, that was a joke and that's my sense of humor. I hope you chuckled. No, the next main thing or thing I can think of right now are some don'ts, okay? We just had a whole space intergalactic thing for 25 issues. Mm, let's not go to space right away. Maybe let's wait till issue 13 before we go check out what's happening in one of those Wakandan colonies. What I would have due to the Wakandan colonies is the next big event where... A space threat is coming to Earth, a la Empire or or King in Black. Maybe we can sacrifice one of those planets. We can be like, okay, it's so serious that one of our Wakandan intergalactics got destroyed by, by this new threat. Oh man, the Wakandans can't wait to get their hands on him for making Wakanda suffer over there uh, uh, up in the stars. You feel me? We can get rid of one. Because I'm, the more places, the more planets you have, the less care I have. It dilutes the amount of care that I have. This also applies for the geography of Wakanda. I don't want to be introduced to new places in Wakanda. Rather, I would like to see some old places that were established by Coates or even guys prior and make me care about their cities. Let me look at the skyline of an image of Wakanda and be like, ah, yeah, yeah, that, that little tower over there, it's actually hollow and it's shaped that way because mounted on top is their defense, you know, airstrike stuff. And you know, let me think about the Wakandan landscape that we already have and just improve on that. We don't need more high tech, you know, kind of new places. We got our libraries and our fields and our cities. So I brought up Storm. How about the other mutant, the Wakandan, named Gentle? Let's use Nezno. He's got those vibranium tattoos. Who else has vibranium tattoos? You know in comic books where everybody's face looks the same. It's just a matter of hair, piercings, tattoos. We can introduce a new guy with a face tattoo of vibranium. And let's do something something with Gentle. Another guy who I want to do, okay? His name was Quezzy, and he's from the Ms. Marvel series. He was Bruno's friend in Wakanda, and I love 
it was Ms. Marvel issue number 29. I checked it. I don't, I'm not that smart. But I rechecked it. In issue 29, he's coming to America. He goes, man, these people in their primitive nature, this is fascinating. I'm here in this developing country. Thanks for bringing me, Bruno. Uh, that kid, he, in a prior comic, he had like a incident in Wakanda. And, he, and I think he's family with the royal family. He's like the second uncle is T'Challa, something like that. Let's use him because it's Marvel and we share a universe. How about we do something down the line? Or like we already did something in the Ms. Marvel book, but how about in the Black Panther book? Just use the character, just for fun, just for me, because I read Ms. Marvel and I want to read, I want to see him in Black Panther. Speaking of Ms. Marvel, this has, uh, you know what I'm, you know where this is going. This has nothing to do with the Black Panther comic, but her name is not Miss Marvel or Mrs. Marvel. It's pronounced Ms. Marvel. The next thing I want to add to this, one shot comics, okay? Give me a complete story, Mr. Ridley, all in 20 pages. I don't like all the, way, all the time. It's like a six part story here, a five part story here. Let's put it in a trade. Trade paperbacks have six issues in them. Six is divisible by two, divisible by three. You can have a one part story, a three part story, followed by a two part story. We don't have every, have to have everything. And with the big cliffhanger to be continued, I wanted to explore different things. So wrap it up, you know, do a little villain thing with Killmonger, make that last two issues. Do a little villain thing where they're fighting freaking Americans, wrap that up. Do a, you know what I mean? We don't have to go long. Uh, that's essential uh, to everything. It just it, 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 it limits the amount of stories we can get if we're always doing six parters because we can reach issue number 24 and really only face four villains. And when this series is over, let's say issue number 50, because Coates had 25 and then 25 in Intergalactic Empire. At issue 50, let's build to some sort of event. The last major comic event that he had was Doom War. Secret Wars, if we're being generous, but I wouldn't consider it. Doom War was a big deal, you know? He fought against Namor. Oh, that's a villain I want to see. That's a, Yeah, that's another main villain of T'Challa. I forgot I didn't mention him. Doom War was the last big event. Let's build to something. Let's have some sort of nasty world big event that needs all the other avengers and all, all the heroes even the ff to show up to fight or to tackle i want that to always be an option i did enjoy war of the realms even though i wasn't following what was happening with thor during the whole time jason aaron was writing from like 2013 to 2019 I wasn't following his story but war of the realms was awesome i think that new fans can also get into this and be like okay uh According to the comic book guy on YouTube, T'Challa's been fighting this threat and it's been building, and this is the big climax. I'd like to see it. I, I wasn't there for the whole ride, but if Marvel's going to treat this like importance and, and is not just doing events for the sake of it, which happens sometimes every year, uh, this, this is something I think we should aim to climax towards. Um, Donny Cates, for example, I don't think Absolute Carnage or King in Black were scheduled events. There were going to be things that he was, he and Ryan Stegman were going to do during their Venom run. And when they realized that it, it was hot, they made events out of them, limited series basically, with Venom tie-ins, and the book sold. Let's plan for this to happen. And then if, if it fails, then the event will just end up happening in the regular pages of the Black Panther comic. I think that's a a good go-to what should the event be i don't know like it'll be the ending of john ridley's run why even suggest something you know what i mean um whatever they do they do but that is what i'd like to see sort of my desires and my needs my lists if you will of the black panther comic book i would love to hear what your suggestions are thank you to sane quad who helped me out during this for this video and uh, let write down your comments everybody i read comments and Again, I appreciate you. Teespring.com for t-shirts, Chillmonger. Patreon.com to support me for as low as $1 a month.